I am back. I tried that ASMR in the last video. Tell me how you like it. Um, <laughs> I once had a comment that said, just get on with it. And I'm like, okay, no problem. I guess they didn't like my talking. So whatever. Can't please everybody all the time. So whatever. You saw how quickly that went with the multi-cutter. I was able to cut, I think that was 70 bars in like, what, 10 minutes? Um, can you imagine if you're cutting them singly? Yeah, it would probably been three times as long. And this is one that I didn't show in what was on my workbench earlier because I didn't see it. Uh, this one is white tea and ginger. And it's my triple butter soap. So I'm going to get that bad boy cut. And there's no colorant. There's nothing in it. It's just a triple butter soap scented in white tea and ginger. So it's not really any difference from bar to bar. The all, no colorant. The only colorant that's in there is from the fragrance oil. Actually, there's a fragrance essential oil mix because I mix it myself. So the ginger is actually an essential oil that I put in there. And we're going to move on. This one. <laughs> this one gave me the most difficult. I haven't soaped in a while. Maybe that's why I haven't done any videos. But I haven't soaped in a while. I usually take a break after Christmas. And I took an extra long break this year. And I took a couple of weeks off because I don't soap when I'm sick. And I have been sick for a while. I'm actually still trying to get over it. I'm not 100% over it. But I'm definitely 100% better than I was before. So I don't soap when I'm sick. And I was sick for a couple of weeks. And I didn't soap after my break. So I took an extra long break. And this one... I have made it before, but it was the one that gave me the most trouble. I couldn't, I seriously couldn't decide. It's a different design that I did before. I couldn't decide what I wanted to do. And then I, when I decided, I forgot that I wanted to put the base. I wanted to put some clay in the base. So I had a little bit left over and I mixed it and I kind of tried to do a swirl, but it got so thick so fast. Um, and yeah, so we're going to see how this bad boy comes out. And you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but it has a don't tell anybody. But yeah, probably the inside is going to have holes too. So even after soaping for years and years and years, things go wrong. But it smells awesome. I love this scent. Hmm. Not too bad. It kind of looks like beer and uh, like the foamy top. Yeah, it's kind of what I was going for. Um, Yeah, those holes are going to be the death of me today, I think. Yeah, maybe I should have just left the just the natural um, base color and not even tried to um, color it because I completely forgot it was already in the mode and I had a little bit left in my container and I was like, oh, let me just color this a little bit. But I like the overall design of it, how it's kind of like, and I put a cocoa line in it and it how kind of like the frothy top. So I kind of like it. I guess better execution next time. And it was, I mean, it got thick on me so quick. It was like, I blinked and it was already thick. So yeah, next time I'm going to have to do something else. But I like it. I definitely, like I said, a different design than I had done previously. I'm going to have to either maybe do the top separate because I want it to be kind of more fluent. And it wasn't. It was as thick as the rest of it. That's why it's like, couldn't fill in the holes. There's a hole right there. I don't know why. I smacked it down like it had done something to my children. And it's like, ah, still didn't do anything. It was that thick. So, I'm going to, definitely a, a remake. I'm definitely going to remake it. It's not even like, oh, this didn't, this failed this time and I'm never going to make it again. Oh yeah, that's definitely going to be a remake. It's It's a good seller for me, so. Maybe I should just go back to my original design. I'm going to have to look back in my notes and see what my... Because I always test the um, fragrance oils. Um, before I make big batches, I'll test the fragrance oils. And I'm not 100% sure what 
what went on, but after coming from a break, I, this a, seems to be a learning curve with me to learn what I've done previously, so yeah, I, I don't know, I don't know what went wrong, so the last two batches I have to cut are ripple cutter, so I'll show you what I do. So I take my multi cutter, line it up, just so I can get the lines in it. I don't know if you can see that, but there's lines, the cut lines in it. So I know exactly where it needs to be cut. So I'm not doing guesswork when it comes to the crinkle cutter. And then I'm going to actually move this out of the way, get my crinkle cutter, and cut it with my crinkle cutter so I know where to cut it. So I'm going to move this out of the way. I don't make a complete mess of myself. I don't know if you can see that. You can't. All right. So I'm going to have to move this. Move that over there so I can move this into frame. So I'm actually using a single bar cutter. Because I originally was using these. I have a straight one of these and have a crinkle cutter. And... Um, I needed a guide because the one my hubby cut for me was kind of crooked and by the end of the loaf I was way off. So, yeah. Those little bits means a lot. So, I'm using the guide from the multi-cutter, which is exactly one inch because that's where I cut myself at one inch. And I cut it. So, this one's lemon and this. This is my best seller of all time. And I crinkle cut it. Should, I was crinkle cutting it on a diagonal before, but I'm like, it doesn't really matter. It's easier this way for me. So, go with what's easiest. And it has, this is an essential oil blend. Essential oil lavender. And some bamboo. And other greens. And see how much longer this has taken already? <laughs> see? Before I would have had that bar cut, that loaf cut, and been just showing you the different sides and been on my way. But no. I just got to make more work for myself. I want to be different. Let's make a couple of different soaps. Yeah. And the thing about this, too, if the bar is too hard, it starts to bend. So I have to kind of adjust it a little bit. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but anyway. Let me pull it back some. Can you see now? Yes, yeah, sort of. Yeah, sort of. Anyway. But it gets a little curve in it. Like, this is not that rigid. It's kind of flexible, which I guess is okay. But sometimes the soap is kind of hard. And... It bends the blade of the cutter so you get a sort of ripple sort of hump slightly hump so I don't know if you can see that see how it's kind of curved but yeah but I guess people don't really it doesn't really matter to them it's the more of the fragrance and the, what it can do and there's a little bit of drag mark in there from the lavender I put it some dried lavender on the top and there's a little drag but not a lot so I don't worry about it too much okay so now we're gonna cut eucalyptus tea tree which is a great soap year-round like now I would use this in the shower trying to get over this cold I have because summer colds are the worst and in the winter time as well it's great same thing. If you're trying to get over a cold, this is a nice soap. Helps clear out your nasal passages. 
because this is an essential oil as well. Eucalyptus and tea tree. I blend myself. It's a essential oil blend. And it smells so good. Just smelling it, cutting it is sort of clearing out my sinuses. And this one is a hot process. And these I do double batches of usually. That what will fit in my crock pot at one time, so why not? So it actually gets 16 bars at a time. Or you can split it and do eight of one and eight of another, but I usually just do 16 of one cent. Because it just works out easier for me. But I'm just going to cut one loaf of each. And I do lemongrass this way. And lemongrass, tea tree, eucalyptus, lavender mist. I'm thinking what else I do in a hot process. But... Oh, I do um, my acne facial bar in a hot process, and I think I used to do an orange in a hot process, but didn't sell that well, so I revamped it to a cold process, and it still didn't sell that well. Maybe people don't like orange in my area. Actually, I'll show you. I have one bar left. I was contemplating remaking it, but a bit of lavender in there. Contemplating remaking it, but I didn't. Um, kind of pressed for time because I have a big event coming up. Another reason why I need my computer up and running so I can make labels for stuff. One of my biggest events coming up in about six weeks. So I need my computer. Orange look like. Like, I thought it was sort of cute. It has a little orange, dried orange peel in the top. And I scented it in Satsuma and some blood orange, some essential oil blood orange. And it was like, it sold, but it didn't really sell. I'm like, oh, do I remake it or not? So, I mean, I like it. But what I like, not you know, because if we all like the same thing, I would just make one soap. <laughs> and then we'd be all happy, but we're not. We don't have all the same taste. So, anyhow... That is my soaps. That's all I have to cut, I think. Oh, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> the ombre soap. Yeah. <laughs> Poor me. All right. So let me get that out and I'll cut it. I'm going to cut it for that. Yeah. Poor me. Oh, Lordy. If my head wasn't attached, I don't know where I would be. So, one more time with the multi bar cutter. And let's get the rest of this residue from the previous soap off. And we're going to get this done. So this is the one that Soap Queen made. I made it a little different because she used um, different flowers on top. I used what I had, which was um, Calendula, which is kind of nice because they're orange. So I'm going to see if I can get this out of the mold without damaging it like I have the, some of the other soaps, as you saw. I don't know why they're so soft, but yeah. Oh, whoops. This one came out pretty good. So here it is. Got a nice ombre to it. So I'm liking it so far. So let's see. I want to, so I don't drag the drag the flowers through the soap so I'm gonna put them down and cut this way on it so it doesn't oh she's hard yeah maybe I should have cut in this one sooner whoops <laughs> did you see that yeah okay so let's see how this bad boy came out and in a couple of days, I'll come back and show you how I, um, how I, uh, cut them. Well, not cut them, because I'm cutting them now, but clean them up. I'm going to let them cure for about a day or two, and then I'm going to, um, show you how I take a couple and show you how I clean them up. But yeah, the colors are not as vibrant as I would have liked them to be. Some people use a hot pad to, um...
face. I don't. Um, yeah, maybe I should have with this one. But I like it anyway. Still nice. Uh, the lines are not as straight as I wanted them to be. Because it was thickening up on me. And I just wanted, at the at the white point, it was like, please. I'm just going to get this thing in and I'm going to temp it down as much as I can. And that be that. And I was, that's exactly what I did. But they're kind of straight. They're not perfectly straight as I would have wanted them. As she had them, but they're pretty good. Not bad for a first attempt. It was the first try. I've never tried a nombre soap before. And I think I did pretty good. Yeah. This is definitely more of an advanced technique. Uh, I wouldn't say try this on your first soap out, co-process soap out, because I've been making soap for a while and this was a challenge for me. So, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it retains that, that color and there's no scent, there's no fragrance oil in it, so. And that's a good thing because I can't even imagine if a fragrance or an essential oil was in there. It just it would have been solid in, in an instant because it was solid even before I got the second and third layer in there. And um, I don't know what I would have done. Just throwing it in a thing and call it a day, pretty much. Throw it in a mold and call it good. But yeah. It's okay. Turn it down the bottom. It's kind of lighter. I'm hoping it doesn't get lighter because that's the darkest part down there. And it's supposed to be dark. So maybe next time if I try it again, maybe I will get a heating pad and put it on the heating pad so the colors pop a bit more. But yeah. So that's my turmeric ombre soap inspired by Soap Queen. So that's all for today, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sticking in there with me. I promise as soon as my computer is working or I'll just record on my iPhone. Yeah, there's no, you know, no fancy thing. This is going to be <laughs> no intro, no outtakes, whatever. I don't know. But yeah, so that's what I've done today. And I'm going to... Make bath bombs and shower bombs after this because I'm finished soaping. Well, making soap for this event. I'm going to just move on to that and I will bring you along as I make those. So thank you so much for watching. This is HMOC and you have a great day.